Hey my lovelies, I'm just coming on to do this week's Facebook card reveals for you all. So, if you were drawn to card one, we're going into the energy of six of fire. I don't know if you can see this too well. So, six of fire is the equivalent to the six of wands. So, six of wands is a celebration card. It is a personal victory. So, it's really, really important if you've been drawn to this card to stop and actually recognise your successes, your achievements, however big or small you might feel them to be because they exist, they matter, and if you've been going through something really sort of trying and really testing and you've come out the other side of that, give yourself permission to celebrate that, give yourself permission to be victorious, like this little character with the sort of reef of victory and the little cheeky smile on his face in this um in this card. It's also about graduation, so maybe some of you have been working really hard on creating something it could be a physical course it could be maybe you've been putting something together that could be a business it could be some other kind of venture you've been doing it could be for some of you there's perhaps some i don't know might have been some projects on the house or the garden it could be for some of you that you're focusing on other aspects of your life and you've kind of graduated or you can see the end of something and it is the success it's the victory it's the achievement of what you've created so this could be happening physically around you in some sort of way, or it could just be personally, you know, with your internal stuff going on. But wherever it sits, however you see it, it is important to just stop and be gentle to be easy on yourself. It might be that you haven't done anything physically necessarily, but you just need to sort of stop and appreciate to look back over your shoulder because sometimes we get so caught up in where we need to be going next, where we're planning to go next, that we almost overlook or we forget how far we've travelled, how far we've come. And it's a huge thing, isn't it? It's like I had a memory come up the other day on Facebook for one of the first psychic fairs that I did however many moons ago and I was like wow I can't believe you know I was so nervous on that particular event because it was one of the first ones to all the sort of bits and pieces I've gone on to do afterwards and it is that sort of humbledness when we stop and actually travel and look back over our timeline it can be quite a humbling feeling of how far we've come as well so celebrations in all areas but definitely give yourself permission to see your successes, to see your victories, to see your success story. You might not be where you want to be still, and there may still be ongoing work, but don't let that discredit how far you've come and where you've got to. I think that's mega, mega important. So I hope that that kind of card, I can't speak, la la la. <laughs> I hope that that card makes a little bit of sense if you've been guided to card one. Now then, guys, as we're moving into card two, we're going into the energy of the Three of Sky. This is known in conventional tarot as the Three of Swords. So it's that big red sword with the three hearts, uh, sorry, the three, oh, the big red heart with the three swords going through. I don't know what's going on with my words today. My dyslexia is getting the better of me. So if you've been drawn to this card, there could be some sorrow, there could be some loss, there could be some grief that you're going through, there could be some ongoing healing. You might just be feeling really let down by somebody at the moment. There could be a little bit of a detachment, which may have come a little bit out of the blue. It could be the end of a relationship or connection with a family member or a friend. Um, it could just be that there's some other stuff going on at the moment or personally with you that's making you feel a little bit lost, a little bit um, overwhelmed. And maybe it's making you feel a bit sad and a bit brought down. But if you're going through a type of grief, a type of sadness, go easy, go gentle on yourself. Um, don't sort of put pressure upon yourself to be more than you can be. Because sometimes when we're going through those cycles of loss or grief or just overwhelmment, Sometimes just getting out of bed of a morning is enough. Sometimes that's all we can physically do, isn't it, you know? And I think it's just sort of making sure that you pull back a little bit from the world and you keep the world a little bit more simple, a little bit more on your own terms, a little bit more on your own understanding. And you don't have to explain what's happening. You don't have to explain or justify yourself. You just need to find a way to get through that day. Um... So it could be that some of you are feeling quite tested at the moment if you've been drawn to this card. Like I say, it's primarily a card of 
grief, loss, ending, sadness, and just maybe overwhelmment. And, you know, like I say, go easy, go steady, go gentle on yourself. I think that's so, so important with this. But it's remembering that this particular energy is often temporary and there's usually life beyond this heavy stuff. But sometimes we can't always see or feel or even accept that when we're in the bulk of something a little bit negative. So just go easy, just go gentle on yourself if you've been drawn to this one. And finally, if you've been drawn to card three, we're going into the energy of the Two of Sky. Two of Sky is the same in conventional tarot as the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords is a card where we're feeling a little bit torn between our head and heart. It's like our head is saying one thing, our heart is saying another. So as pictated in this card, should he stay in the sort of tree and the branches or should he get down and sort of run around the land? We're a little bit caught, we're a little bit stuck on what we should or shouldn't be doing. Again, a little bit like the last card, don't string yourself up unnecessarily. Don't put pressure upon yourself. I think that's really important. And sometimes just stop and hold space, just stop and look at things. Sometimes we don't have to give an immediate decision to something, you know. We can have that time to ponder, we can have that time to think. Now, usually with this card, even if it's feeling a little bit scary or a little bit um, unfamiliar or a little bit overwhelming, what usually follows is a real sense of stillness, calmness and, and greatness usually. So the water is very sort of mild, it's very tranquil, it's very gentle. So there's no rough kind of bumps and crashes from the ocean. And we've got this lovely um, sort of half moon, the new moon. So there's new beginnings, there's new cycles. So it could be that there are some positive changes coming in for you and it's feeling and it's being brave enough to sort of kind of go onto those new platforms, those new destinations and not fear the unknown because actually it doesn't mean that what follows is going to be negative or bad and then sometimes it's quite the opposite. And usually with this card there is a sense of overthinking but actually when we get on with it, it's often that the, the overthinking was more scary than the actual physical realities of what comes to be and what happens. So it usually leads to something quite positive, quite good, but really sort of spend some time listening to that head and heart and, you know, going a bit deeper into that energy and where do you feel connected? Where do you want to be at this time in your personal journey of life with whatever this might be for you? Because it could be so many things, you know. Um, but you'll know where it sits for you. So an interesting set of cards this week. So I hope you can make a little bit of sense of them. I'm going to leave them with you. Stay safe, stay well, stay fabulous. And I will look forward to seeing some of you lovelies this Sunday in Avebury at the Spiritual Psychic Fair, which is a free entry event happening at the Avebury Social Club, Sports and Social Club. It's on from 10.30 until 4.30. It'd be great to see some of you lovelies there if you're free. Um, I am fully booked for readings, but still come along because it's going to be a magical day. Just a very quick reminder, reference the tickets for my tour. I've had a couple of people say, can you take a payment over the phone or can there be a bank transfer or can things be done another way? Where possible, guys, the ticket sales must, must, must go through the website. The reason why is the website generates the tickets directly once a payment's gone through. And the other important thing with that, there's so much hacking going on for, with many psychics, not just myself, but loads of people are getting hacked and getting scammed. So the website is secure and it's safe. So it's also another safe way where everything can be in one place. So please don't sort of be asking me, or oh, can I just pay you cash and do it that way? And da, 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 da. It needs to go through the correct channels where possible. If for some reason you've got a problem with your bank or if your card isn't working on the website for some reason, or if there's a problem, if you can ask a friend, can they pay for it? And then can, you know, put the details in that in your name? Can they pay? And then can you transfer the money to them? That's another way you can do it. But it must, must go through the website direct. It's for safety more than anything else. OK, so have a magical week ahead. Look after yourselves. Keep shining. And I'm praying we get some sun this week because I'm fed up with this bloody rain. And um, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.